What's up everybody? Hey, I'm just chilling at the skate park watching my boys uh, do some tricks and ride their boards and rollerblades and stuff and just thought I'd get a quick video out again. Um, I wanted to touch on something because it's something I, I have found extremely helpful in the past. Um, it's not something that is super important to have, but it's just one of those tricks that if you know it, um, you might never use it, but when you do need it, it comes in real handy. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, let's go ahead and launch a terminal here and we are going to clear the screen and zoom in. And we all know about the PWD command. So if we do PWD, you can see that it shows us that we're in our home slash Jake directory. And if we do a CD into dot config and do PWD again, it shows us home Jake dot config. So we all know that PWD is print working directory. But did you know that PWD has flags? Because these flags come in very handy. And I say flags, but I really mean flag because while technically it does have two flags uh, one of them is the default so let's go ahead and do a PW let's do TLDR PWD and hit enter and you can see right here you can see we've got PWD and we've got PWD dash P um, let's go ahead and clear out of that real quick and if we do a PWD dash dash help oops we need a space in there um, you can see that it does give two options L and P well it doesn't give you L and P here because the dash L flag is the default. So when you run PWD, it actually runs it with the dash L flag. What the dash L flag does is it just names the current working directory. Let's go ahead and clear the screen again and we're going to do PWD and we're going to do dash dash help again and you can see the dash P flag. Now the deep the dash P flag says print physical directory without any symbolic links. What does that mean? Well, let me show you what that means. So if we do a PWD and we do dash P and hit enter, you can see it says home Jake doc and fig, but let's go to a directory that is symlinked. So let's CD into our slash var slash service. And if you're on void Linux, you know that var slash service is where all your, is where run it, your init system run it is actually starting up services from. So we, if we do a PWD and hit enter, you can see it says var dash servers. So what happens if we do PWD and give it the P flag? We hit enter. Oh, now we get etc run it run svdir default. Why is that? Well, let's cd back a directory and let's do an ls and give it the dash l flag, which is going to show us long. Now, if we look right here, that service directory that we were just in right here is actually a symlink that points to run run it run svdir slash current. Well now wait a minute, you might say when we gave it the p flag up here it gives us the etc run it run svdir default, not run run it run svdir current. Well that's because if we cd into slash run slash run it slash runs svdir slash current and hit enter, clear the screen. Let's do a PWD dash P and hit enter. And we can see that takes us to that ETC run at run SVDIR default. So what is this doing? Well, what this P does is it gives you the initial start of the symbolic link chain for whatever directory you're in or whatever linked uh, directory you're in. So basically, if you're in a directory that you know is a link, but you can't remember where it's linked from, you can give it the ls dash L flag, see that's a, that it's a link, and it will point you to the directory just before it, but if you do the PWD dash P, capital P, it will show you the very beginning of the symbolic link chain. Basically, what you can also do, and this is installed on most systems by default from what I recall, you can actually do a read link and do give it the dash F and do the directory you're in. So we'll say dot and we hit enter and you can see that gives you the same output. Let's CD into var service and hit enter and let's do the read link command and give it the dash F and dot for the current directory and hit entry and you can see that it gives you the link all the way back to the main start of that um, symbolic link chain. So basically what this is doing is this just kind of shows you, it gives you a way to track your symbolic links. So I find that pretty cool and pretty helpful. It's not something I've used ex 
a lot, but there have been a couple times that I was like, hey, there's a symbolic link. I don't remember where that thing was linked from. Let's just go ahead and check it out. So the PWD with the capital P flag or read link dash F and then the current directory or the path to the directory you want to check the link on will show you exactly where that link is coming from. So just a cool little command line trick I thought uh, you guys might like to see and learn and uh, I hope you liked it and I hope it comes in handy for you at some time. If not, you got it in your, in your tool bag and if it ever does need to be used, um, you actually have it. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Stay safe. God bless.